Let me look. Do you have a yeah, share share this drive Google Doc with you that I'm working on the narrative? Did you ever share it with Brian? Um, as you know, we're working on a story about civil asset forfeiture, um, which is a section of the law that I think is um, really interesting for us to explore and look into because it's a section of the law that isn't talked about very much and it's very confusing and difficult to understand and it um, affects a lot of people. My role in this project has been mostly dealing with breaking down the data from civil asset forfeiture. So a colleague and I took all of the cases that have gone through Tarrant County Courts from the last five years, which is a couple thousand cases, and broke them down in an Excel file to extract as much data as we possibly could. What I cover for the Star Telegram special projects is uh, the auctions for civil asset forfeiture. And so one of the things that we did was uh, we put me on a uh, airplane, flew me out to California, we toured the warehouse, uh, got a lot of interviews and a lot of access to kind of the stuff that goes through the system how it gets auctioned, uh, what happens with the revenue after it's sold, uh, and it's essentially trying to make sure that we got everywhere where this local story goes, even if that means having to go a couple thousand miles away to where the stuff is actually ending up. I do want to be a broadcast journalist and, you know, working with the Star-Telegram um, was an opportunity to really improve on the writing skills um, that is really essential for any journalist. And um, this investigative piece was really an opportunity to work with law enforcement agencies, uh, federal agencies, and anybody who was involved in terms of civil asset forfeiture. I think at the root of journalism, it's always telling people stories. And I really had the opportunity to, um, you know, get to know, you know, this sort of law that a lot of people don't know, they're not aware of it. The final exercise will involve. I mean, I think it's really cool to work for the to work for the Star Telegram. I guess it's not something that a lot of college students can go and put on their resume. And as we're applying for jobs, it's you know I worked for 360. I have my internships, but I also helped work on this big investigative project for the Fort Worth Star Telegram. What do you think was the most challenging part of what? This is um, the cherry on top of my senior year. Certainly, um, this was an amazing opportunity because I grew up reading the Star Telegram. So to be able to work with their editors and work with their staff has been um, extremely fun and rewarding for me. And um, this has been a fantastic learning experience um, as a young reporter to see how the professionals do it, how a full investigative team is handled, and how the investigation um, into this type of case is you know, worked out through several months and through several kinks. And it's been challenging at times, but it's always been very rewarding.